Hi, welcome to Eye Openers. I'm your host, Brittany Drozd, and each week I bring you insightful conversations with entrepreneurs that will help you make more money, become a strong leader, and build a business culture that you're proud of. Grab your coffee and let's dive in. Today I want to talk with you about communication. Why should you care? Because I believe that communication is everything when it comes to leadership. And if you're watching this, you're likely a leader in your organization or an entrepreneur who is looking to build better relationships with key employees and with customers. So I'm here to help today to make this a smoother process for you, give you a little system that you can go to when this is difficult. I've gotten so many questions lately about how to manage a difficult conversation. And I don't know if conversations are just getting more difficult or people are reaching out because they realize they need help with them. Here are three simple takeaways that can make challenging conversations really lead to improving your leadership. So first and foremost, get real. I am all about transparency with your team. And here's what I mean by that. You don't have to share every single little nugget of things that are going on, but you've got to be transparent about the things that really matter. People can tell when you're not being forthright with them. People know when you're hiding like little details. And wouldn't it be nicer to, as the leader, not have to hold those secrets and to, as the employee, to feel involved and that you have the knowledge of what's going on in the company that you work for? When you bring people into your process, you're not sharing the burden. I think that's what people are afraid of. You're not giving them things to worry about. You're making them part of the solution-focused, problem-solving team. Bring people on board to help you solve these issues, make things better, okay? So transparency, first and foremost, all right? Communicate what feels scary, So this is a little different than transparency because we often like to walk away from the conversations that might feel difficult, hiring and firing, um, demotions, um, having to not give bonuses. Like These are really challenging because we feel like we're afraid we're going to disappoint people. But these are the conversations that can really shape you as a leader. Believe it or not, you will get better and better at these conversations when you don't walk away from them, you move straight towards them, and you're willing to feel that discomfort in that conversation. You will grow forward through this way. There's no getting around it, okay? And lastly, reflect. Your communication will get better if you get better at communicating with yourself. Are you journaling daily? Do you have a process where you examine how things went for you and how they might go differently? I cannot suggest enough, whatever the process is. If, if you know what, if you like to walk and voice dictate on your phone, do that. But there needs to be a way for you to reflect on the things you've done, evaluate what worked, what needs to go better, and how to make it different in the future. This is the only way that we can take leadership and make it much more of a science for you so that we can measure what's actually happening for you and then find the improvements and create them. Okay, so let's reflect right now as good practice. Transparency, sharing with your team what's going on and letting them be a part of the solution having those tough conversations and communicating what really scares you, right? Um, We will want to shy away from a scary conversation, but going straight forward towards it, having it, you'll get better and better. And lastly, reflection. The more you practice articulating what you're trying to say to yourself, the better you're going to get at reflecting or at sharing that with your team, right? And in the process of reflection, you're going to see the things you're doing, the patterns, that will make you better as a leader. Thanks so much for watching. Would love to hear from you what your practice is like with communication and how it's making you a better leader. Thanks for joining us this week on Eye Openers. Make sure to visit brittanydroz.com slash podcast for this week's show notes. And if you found value in today's episode, I would so appreciate you giving us a rating on Apple Podcasts or share it with a friend. Also, don't forget to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. This all helps to support the show.